Okay guys, so let's continue our lecture by the second subtopic which is 1.2 scalars and vector. So according to this subtopic, students should be able to define scalar and vector quantities, resolve vector into two perpendicular axes, illustrate unit vectors which is i, j and k in Cartesian coordinate, state the physical meaning of dot or scalar product and state the physical meaning of cross or vector product so let's start by the first part which is under scalar and vector what is the difference between scalar and vector so according to the explanation here scalar is a quantity that is fully described by a magnitude only okay this is the keyword it is described by just a single number some example of scalar quantities include speed volume mass and time while what does it mean by vector a vector is a quantity that has both a magnitude and direction okay two of it vector quantities are important in the study of motion some example of vector quantities include force velocity acceleration and momentum so roughly we may differentiate scalar and vector as Scalar defined as a quantity with magnitude only, while vector defined as a quantity with both magnitude and direction. Okay, so how do we write vector symbol? Okay, symbol of vectors is okay, bold letter or any letter with a cap here eh? the arrow now we call it as cap okay uh, so this is our vector symbols okay by using a bold letter or normal letter with a cap eh? that one representing vector a vector can be represented by an arrow all right so normally the length of the arrow representing the magnitude of vector for any greater magnitude then the length of the arrow should be longer the length of the arrow indicates its magnitude arrow hits shows the direction so this is the example and by giving you an arrow so this arrow representing our vectors so this is the head of vector while the other end we call it as tail of vector all right then we just label it by using the symbol of vector lah, which is a all right uh, so the magnitude of the vector a now is written as modulus of a so modulus of a now representing the magnitude of vector Alright, so remember, we need to put a modular sign here representing the magnitude of vector A. Alright, and then for the dot product, what is the main equation? So, vector A dot vector B. Alright, equals to magnitude of A multiplied by magnitude of B cos theta. Alright, so this is a vector product. So, there must be a cap actually eh? vector a dot vector b okay equals to magnitude of a times magnitude of b cos theta all right so the physical meaning of dot product is a dot b is the magnitude of a multiplied by the component of b that parallel to a okay what does it mean Okay, simple. Okay. Let's say, by giving you two different vectors, which is A 
and B. Okay, two vectors now where the angle between them is theta. So, according to the situation, by resolving B, you will get BX also BY. So, BX equals to B cos theta, isn't it? Because X exists now, touched by the angle theta, become cos lah. Okay? So, according to the equation, a dot B equals to magnitude of A multiplied by magnitude of B cos theta. So, this is magnitude of A lah. Alright? And this is magnitude of B. So, in this case, A and BX, they are parallel to each other. Okay? Uh, so, now the keyword given here is okay parallel okay which is a and b cos theta they are parallel to each other okay so remember magnitude uh, modulus of a representing magnitude of vector a Modulus of B representing the magnitude of vector B. And theta is the angle between vector A and vector B. So, this is the angle theta. Alright. So, normally the angle is between 0 until 180 degrees. Okay. So, what is the example of the product? Okay, so remember, eh, let's discuss one example for this dot product. So, work. Work equals to F dot S. Alright, so based on this, work equal to F, S dot should be under cos, isn't it? Cos theta. So, work is under dot product. What does it mean? Work is under scalar. We are discussing about magnitude only without any direction. Okay, so work is under scalar. Alright. Okay, next part. Cross product, which is under vector product. Okay, what is the difference? Alright, so the physical meaning of cross product is A cross B is equal to the magnitude of A multiplied by the component of B perpendicular to A. Okay, what does it mean? And the keyword is perpendicular. Alright, same as before, two vectors given which is A also B. The angle between A and B given now is theta. So, by resolving B, you will get BX also BY. Okay. Now, we are discussing about two things which is perpendicular to each other, which is A and BY. So, according to the position of BY, BY still equals to B sine theta, isn't it? So, according to this situation, vector A cross vector B equals to magnitude of A multiplied by magnitude of B and then sine theta. So, A and B sine theta, they are perpendicular to each other. Okay, that is why the keyword given here is perpendicular okay alright so the question is A cross B equals to magnitude of A multiply magnitude of B sine theta again and the angle uh, sorry A and B here should be in vector eh? so this is vector A and this is vector B okay 
So again, magnitude of A modulus A, magnitude of B modulus B, and then theta is the angle between A and B. And normally the angle between A and B is still between 0 until 180 degrees. Okay, uh, but the difference now we are discussing about vector product. So normally the product produced now still under vector. Eh? So it will produce a third vector which is perpendicular to both of the original vectors. And normally by using our right hand rule, we may find the direction of the new vector produced here. All right. Okay, I think we uh, may refer to the YouTube, uh, the link given here. Eh? So, I think you may understand very, very well by watching the video given or suggested here. Alright? Okay, I think we have complete chapter 1. So, we just go through by chapter 2 later. Okay? Thank you.